Well, I, I rather like the issue about, I was thinking about it, of Rerum Novarum, of course, the first great papal encyclical by Leo the Thirteenth on social justice. I don't think Rerum Novarum itself has all that much to teach us anymore, but it initiated this tradition which has a great deal to say and to teach the American society and especially the American Catholics and Catholics worldwide, namely that the struggle for justice is at the heart of the Christian gospel. It's not a kind of nice luxury item. It's something that's central. Uh, my Buddhist friends have told me that the thing they most learn from Christians is this sense of how do we put together justice and love and how you need both as Buddhists now uh, Buddhists as my Buddhist friends tell me especially in Japan of trying to deal with the issue as the Japanese culture does of the non-indigenous Japanese peoples like the Hainu people or the Korean people who've been there for generations and my friend said the great Jap uh, Buddhist virtue of compassion, speaking to Christians, he sees that with their debates, their reflections on love's relationship to justice, that Buddhists also should think of, it's not enough at times to be compassionate towards the non-indigenous people. You may have to change the societal structures to more just structures. I've always thought that this, this struggle to understand the relationship of love and justice at the heart of Christianity, not an extra item. And the tradition initiated by Leo XIII and Rerum Novarum, which has now exploded into all these great movements for justice and all these attempts reflectively and practically to think out the relationship of love and justice, is one of the most hopeful events since that encyclical of a little over a century ago.